Okay, so we've seen Terra. Um, you have some anything else interesting you can tell us about? Yes, actually, I can make the very first release of our uh, upcoming product. So this is Pulsar 23 Utilities. And this is uh, a kit of additional modules for Pulsar 23, but you can also use it with another devices like Eurorack. But it has the same system of alligator clip clips like with Pulsar. And the idea of this uh, unit is simple but very useful modules that extend Pulsar 23 possibilities. That is why utilities. Right. So it has simple mechanical stuff like robust switches, playable switches. You can use it for modulation, any parameters like sensors. So you can play using your body conductivity with different pulsar functions. It has uh, uh, photoresistors that you can use light or uh, uh, waving your arms uh -huh. above. It has an additional connection for Eurorack system. It has additional uh, pulse to uh, drum triggering converters, single parts. Uh, it has four additional uh, attenuators, so you can control more parameters. It has four controllable amplifiers. It's very important for Pulsar to go back and forth from different formats like Eurorack, old tape so recorder. The, like VCA type, yeah. Yes, so, controllable VCA. So yeah. mm, you can, for example, amplify 20 times some weak signal from old tape recorder right. to make it fit Eurorack system, pulsar system, like five volts, 10 volts of uh, amplitude. And it can work in AC and DC uh, mode. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, make also some interesting semi uh, state for it using the switches like experimental amplifiers okay and uh, it has simple indicators you just can visualize so you some, can see tempo or clock or trigger for example or, yeah, or, yeah, or, four or something yes and uh, the most interesting part of this uh, unit is different old style uh, VCAs and amplifiers. So I actually really love the first stage of electronics where circuitry was very simple, mm. but full of characters. Right. It can be maybe wrong from a contemporary engineering perspective, but this imperfection creates this lovely sound. So for example, here I have two diode VCAs that uh, were used in uh, the very first theremins. So, ah, okay. So this is absolutely another approach, like contemporary VCs, but it has a lot of, of character, and uh, it even doesn't require a uh, power supply. So CV is power supply. Right, okay. Yeah. And it also has uh, clipping amp VCA, so it's uh, like, maybe came more from early uh, guitar Stone boxes that was made on single transistors, right, not so operational really amplifiers. So you uh, can modulate signals, uh, combine signals in weird modulations together, like there is two inputs. So also um, I have here a uh, warp module that is uh, a kind of wave shaper that has negative slope. So it's not like distortion that just clips, right. but it can go down if the signal goes up. And you can uh, adjust it, modulate it um, uh, with different signals. So this is actually either simple functions like switches and uh, single parts and uh, weird full of characters amplifiers. So, I mean, this, I mean, it's the utilities for Pulsar, but obviously you could just plug it into any Eurorack system. Sure. You've got, you've got converters here sure, sure. from 8th-inch uh, to crocodile clips, and then you can bring these things in. Okay, interesting. Yes, yes. So I think it's really useful for Pulsar users and for Eurorack users, because uh, I really often miss simple things, like I need to just amplify signal. Mm. I don't need an expensive module. I just need to make more amplification. Or I need 
switches robust that I can play connect signals uh, not using this or this uh, tuck knob that uh, I can break easily so I can play it really hard. These look like um, Morse code. Yes, yes, switches, exactly. Yeah. So it's just a big piece of metal so you can't break it. <laughs> right. You can and if you it. do, you can put another one on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so this, this is going to be, when is this going to be out then? So I think several months. Yes, okay, so this is an early great. prototype then? Yes, yes. Wow, okay. And power is... Uh, Okay, just got an input. And is this, you said it's a kit, so is this something you build yourself or it comes, it will come? Uh, I mean kit, kit of different functions. All right, okay, so, so it'll, be a, it'll be a thing. Maybe we will make it like a DIY module, but uh, we have no uh, clear decision about yeah. this. So it's, this, this unit is possible to assemble at home, actually. So yeah. maybe we'll, we will make it as a DIY kit, but no, no final solution. Well, for thank the you. Moment. So first look there, you heard it here, folks. first, folks.